Hey you guys, um, so you have probably already watched my video on landscape photography and you might be wondering why do we have landscape going on at the same time as abstract photography and the reason we're doing that is because uh, landscape photography is something that you have to do at home. Uh, you kind of have to do it on your own time because you need to be able to go to different locations and go like hiking or into the city or you know what I mean? You have to kind of go different places whereas with abstract photography is something that you can do anywhere including at school so we're doing two projects at the same time mostly so that way we have something to work on easily at school while we have other stuff to work on at home only so let me explain like what abstract is and you can join in on the fun so abstract photography is a type of photography where you are photographing objects in a way where the focus becomes not what the object is, but how the object looks, like what it looks like, what are the colors, the lines, the shapes, the textures. So it's where you're sort of simplifying an object down to its most basic parts. So let's look at some examples and talk about them. So take a moment, look at it, take a guess. What do you think this object is? If you guessed a piece of lettuce, you would be correct. So now when you look at it more closely, you realize that this photo is not about a lettuce leaf. It is, but it isn't, right? The purpose of this photo is to sort of emphasize the contrast, the light and dark contrast, but also the curves and the shape and the line and the leading lines, right? So this one right here, Simplifying an image down to where the focus isn't what the object is, but what it looks like. Okay, here's some more. Take a guess at what you think this is. Okay, this is tire tracks on fresh snow. So this one, again, we have like leading lines, emphasis on curves and contrast, okay? and like the texture of like the little clumps of snow in the in all the grooves of the tires. Okay, go ahead and take a guess what you think it is and what you think the emphasis is on here. Okay, so this photo is some buildings, some skyscrapers, and the emphasis obviously is not on the buildings themselves, but it's on the leading lines, the like curved leading lines, and also color contrast because we have a sort of orange toned building and a blue toned building. There's also repetition as well, that's another emphasis. Okay, take a guess. Okay, this one is books. Um, and if you look at this one, this one has sort of contrast between the textures because the pages of the books are sort of rough and they create all these interesting lines and there's sort of a contrast between the texture of the books and the texture of the empty black spaces where the spines are curved, right? You have sort of like little black gaps in the photo. So we have contrast, we have texture, we have leading line and curve. Go ahead and take your guess. This is a leaf. Um, I believe it's being held up to a window or a light source so that you can see through the leaf. Right, this one is again like repetition, line, texture. Take your guess. This is a car wash. Um, this one is all about color and like, pattern and repetition. This one's not so much about line. Okay, what's this? This is two hands with the fingers interlocked, so we're looking at some knuckles. So this one is a lot more about texture, right? The texture of the skin um, and like light and dark contrast. Okay, here's one more. What do you think it is? This one is a fork laying down in uh, some water. So this one is sort of about sort of like color and line and shape and texture, I guess. So as you can see 
through looking through these, you achieve these type of abstract photos by um, taking a photo from by either changing the perspective from what you would normally use, so getting an unusual perspective, whether that means you're taking the photo upside down or at a funny angle, um, you're zoomed in maybe more than you would be. Um, so yeah, basically you achieve these abstract transformations by trying to photograph the object in an unusual way so that the focus isn't on the object and what it is, but it's on how the object looks, the aesthetic appeal of the object. So hopefully that made some sense and I encourage you to go around your house and try and look at objects from a new perspective, from a new point of view and try and see what you can make interesting by changing your perspective on it. Alright, good luck and have fun!